physical and chemical changes we are going to take question and answer on this first is classify the changes involved in the following processes as physical or chemical please understand that when the composition changes then only it is chemical changes and uh, when the only form is changed means it can be brought back into the previous form then it is uh, physical so if uh, a change is irreversible it is chemical if it is reversible it is physical so photosynthesis this is a chemical change dissolving water uh, sugar in water is a physical change uh, burning of coal is a chemical change melting of wax is a physical change beating aluminium to make aluminium foil is a physical change and digestion of food because the composition is changed what you intake is not what it that is coming out entirely it is changed so it's a chemical change so physical changes are dissolving sugar in water melting of wax beating aluminium to make aluminium foil and as i said photosynthesis burning of coal and digestion of food these are three chemical changes we have to say true or false cutting a log of wood into pieces is a chemical change this is false why the wood is like this and you are cutting it so it, re it will remain wood right the composition is not changing composition is not changing formation of manure from leaves is physical change no it is a chemical change because the leaves when it when the bacteria and other you know sunlight etc water vapor works on it then it becomes manure so there is a proper chemical change you cannot make leaves from manure it is irreversible so this is false as i see these two are false then iron pipes coated with zinc do not get rusted easily this is exactly um, true why because there is a coating of zinc on iron pipes which does not allow the water vapor and oxygen to make or to combine with iron to form the rust so this is true iron and rust are the same substances so the answer is false because iron and rust they have different chem chemical composition iron when combines with, when it combines with oxygen and water vapor it forms rust so it's it has a different chemical combination so this is false next is condensation of steam is not a chemical change it is not a chemical change right because uh, it is a reversible process and there is no form means the chemical form, form is not changing now fill in the blanks when carbon dioxide is passed through lime water it turns milky due to the formation of calcium carbonate CaCO3 the chemical name of baking soda is sodium bicarbonate this was calcium carbonate CaCO3 two methods by which rusting of iron can be prevented is by greasing and galvanization changes in which only physical properties of substance change are called physical changes changes in which new substances are formed are called chemical changes when baking soda is mixed with lemon juice bubbles are formed with the evolution of gas what type of change it is explain see when the baking soda is combined with lemon juice you will see salt you will see carbon dioxide and water so when acid this reacts with carbonates salt is formed the salt is formed releasing the carbon dioxide and water when candle burns both physical and chemical change takes place you have to identify these changes you have to give another example of familiar process in which both the chemical and physical changes are taking place see the physical change and chemical change which are taking place when you are having a say candle and it is say burning right so how does it work so so this is a flame right so physical changes on heating this candle this melts it melts into physical and this melts and you can it can again be because when it cools it will again uh, become the uh, wax by itself so on heating candle wax gets melted this is a physical change now in chemical change the wax which is near say if, the, if this is the flame this is a flame the wax near to flame burns and it will, it will give you new substances like the carbon dioxide the carbon soot the water vapor heat and light so this is a chemical changes because it is irreversible one more example is cooking of food because here the physical and chemical changes are occurring you see the cooking of food for example 
you know cellulose we cannot we cannot uh, digest so we boil or we cook the food so that it transforms into certain form of carbohydrates here so the chemical process changes and the physical thing is also changing how would you show that setting of curd is a chemical change the setting of curd is due to lactic acid so setting of curd because of the lacto bacillus this this curd is chemical change since a new substance which is the lactic acid is formed which differs in the taste from original substance the the fat and proteins are different from the lactic acid because the, the content has, has changed so the change is irreversible because you cannot take curd and you can convert into milk you cannot do that explain why burning of wood and cutting it into small pieces are considered as two different type of changes since you are cutting wood that means you are just you are just physically changing it but when you are burning you are entirely changing it to different chemical composition so burning of wood is, is a chemical change because wood or burning convert to new substances like the ash carbon the carbon dioxide the water vapor heat and light the change is irreversible but when you cut a wood in smaller pieces this is a physical physical change because the original composition does not change the wood remains wood and no new substances are created or formed describe how crystals of copper sulfate are prepared so uh, we'll take step by step how does it work first of all we will take a water in a beaker and add few drops of h2so4 that is sulfuric acid we heat the water we heat the water and when it starts starts boiling we add copper sulfate powdered slowly uh, and we we will continuously stir it also so we will continue adding copper sulfate powder till the saturation level we will filter out the solution and we will leave leave it for cooling see when it is being cooled please do not disturb it that is leave undisturbed the solution when it is cooling so we can just observe after few hours that crystal of copper sulfate will be formed explain how painting of iron gate prevents it from rusting see iron is iron is fond of oxygen and water vapor it will direct it, it is it will direct combine with them and form rust that is feoh or you know hydroxide products and that is basically the 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 rust so for rusting the presence of oxygen and water or water vapor is required when you coat the iron with paint you coat this with paint then there is no direct direct connection or direct contact between iron and oxygen or air so there is no rust or rusting can be prevented explain why rusting of iron object is faster in coastal region than the desert see in desert there is less water in the air that is water vapor is less in coastal areas because it is coast there is all water 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 means all sea so there are the water vapor content is too high too high so the iron when it wants to convert to or when it it gets hold of or it it has a direct contact with the water vapor and oxygen then it converts to rust because water is too much air it will the uh, iron will will take less time to convert into rust than in deserts so for rusting the presence of both oxygen and moisture which is we are calling as, as water vapor is required so in coastal areas the quantity of moisture content in air is high that is highly humid as compared to the, to the desert region and low humid so the rusting becomes faster in coastal areas next is the gas we use in kitchen is lpg liquefied petroleum gas in the cylinder it is it exists as a liquid so when it comes out from the cylinder it becomes a gas and that is change a and it burns the following statement pertains to these changes correct the correct you have to choose the correct one so process a is chemical change no it is just you know you the liquefied which which was in the liquid form is coming to gas so the form is not changing you can always convert gas to liquid so the answer would be this one process b is chemical change because when you are burning it it is actually changing the form so process b is the chemical change anaerobic bacteria digest animal waste and produce biogas the biogas is the is then burnt as fuel that is change b these are the statement pertain to these changes you have to correctly you choose the correct one 
So, which is the correct answer? The answer is both process A and B are chemical changes because the animal way then they when they produce biogas there is a pro proper form of chemical changes because you cannot convert biogas to animal waste. Similarly, when you when the biogas is burned it, as a fuel, the content which is produced is totally different. You cannot uh, grab them and convert into biogas. It is irreversible. So both processes A and B are chemical changes. So this is.